Engineer775 here, uh, wanting to do a short little video on engineering and prepping. I'm not going to be showing any gadgets or gizmos. Just wanted to answer some questions and uh, dispel any rumors <laughs> over the last couple of years of whether or not I'm an engineer, what kind of engineer am I, should I go to engineering school. I get all sorts of um, great questions and I appreciate them. Um, yes, I'm an engineer. I have <laughs> degreed engineer. I, I brought proof. I brought proof because people don't believe it sometimes, but I have a, do have a master's degree in mechanical engineering from uh, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, also known as RPI. It's the oldest engineering school in our country, founded in 1824. Um, I had the privilege in high school of receiving the Rensselaer Medal. This is one of the big reasons I wanted to, to go to RPI, um, because I received that medal in math and, sci in math and science. And so it was a dream to be able to go to this school, a very prestigious school. And so I went and I, I got my master's degree in robotics and mechanism design and, and then off to work. But uh, so, yes, so just to, I, I do have a degree in mechanical engineering and uh, I greatly enjoy designing and installing and troubleshooting all different types of systems, whether they're water, electrical, solar, alternative energy. So I have a lot of fun doing that. Um, so I do encourage people to uh, pursue a higher education, but I also, with that, also have learned that it is important to learn a trade, to learn a skill, whether it be plumbing, electrical, carpentry, any of the trades, they're, they are forgotten, and a lot of young people that have the, the grades or the, um, they, they want to pursue a higher education, they skip over learning how to do anything and they end up in a world of theory. Where I went to school is high, highly theoretical and I learned a lot of great things and there's nothing wrong with the theory, so don't knock that down, but the, having the theory without the practical is can be yeah, not very rewarding. And, and when, when it comes to prepping, being able to do things for yourself, being able to be your own plumber, your own electrician, to an extent, we all need help from other people that have more skills in an area than we do. But I do encourage people to, uh, if you're getting ready to go to college, you know, consider learning a trade maybe before you go to that higher education or uh, while you're going, or go to a school where it's a good mix of both theory and hands-on, and that's sometimes hard to find. Um, so. Um, I guess that's pretty much what I wanted to, to talk about. You know, you know. I also, it's uh, what I do uh, for business now is full time for practical preppers, designing systems, helping people get their water secured, their food uh, systems secured, um, energy for their retreats. I meet a lot of wonderful people that are preparing and wanting to take care of their families. And in order to do that, you need water. Uh, you need a water system, you need hot water. Well, hot water is always typically overlooked uh, when it comes to prepping, and that can be challenging. And so, and a lot of what I do is not high tech. It is um, old school technologies revisited, rediscovered, and applied to the prepper. And so it's a, it's a lot of fun. And then to see, once you install the system, seeing people um, just be excited that they're off the grid, or they can be off the grid, or they have both an on-grid and off-grid option, it gives them choices. So it's very rewarding doing what I'm doing, and so and we're able to help a lot of people. So I also wanted to do this video if you're out there and you're um, and if you have the desire to do this type of work, you've seen some of my videos. You know, like you're excited about that kind of thing. You want to. You also have a heart to help people. That. Um, you also have to work with me, so that might be difficult. Um, but I am a I am a Christian. I want people to know that that's my worldview, and um, and so helping people is a big part of what we do. But we also need people that are not willing to give up, that are willing to work hard, that don't whine, <laughs> and that are able to do things like dig ditches all day, mix quickcrete, and put in posts. It's not all glamour. It's not all theory. So um, that's hard to find. I've had a hard time finding that. And uh, so if you're interested, uh, just send me a message. You can also go to Practical Preppers and send me a message um, through uh, practicalpreppers.com as well. So I hope I answered some of the questions. Um, I encourage you to pursue an engineering degree for those of you who have asked me. Uh, just make sure you have a good mix of hands-on skills that you learn along the way because they will pay off. You know, there's no reason to sub out everything that we do. Our lives are so compartmentalized 
and we have to get the plumber, the electrician. We don't, we've become a society that is very unskilled and we wonder why work is going elsewhere. It's because a lot of people don't know how to do anything anymore. It's just service industries and it's, it's sad to see the state of our, our country. And um, so enough of my ranting about that. Um, so yes, I'm an engineer. I love engineering and, and, and I found a way to, that it applies to prepping. It applies to disaster relief. It applies to missionary work. You name it, it goes on and on. So get a good education. It'll always pay off for you. It'll open up doors. And so don't knock getting an education, but also don't forget the hands-on, common sense things that we all need to learn and should learn. So this is Engineer 775, uh, signing off. Thanks for watching.